wanted to kick off, actually, and get a bit of a scene center from Mr. Gates, because this is, I know, a topic that you've spoken on again and again. You were ahead of the curve prior to the beginning of this pandemic. Where would you assess where we are today in beating COVID-19? Well, the, uh, you know, sadly, the virus itself, particularly the, the variant called Omicron, uh, is a type of vaccine. That is, it creates both B cell and T cell immunity. And it's done a better job of getting out to the world population uh, than we have with vaccines. If you do uh, sero surveys in African countries, you get well over 80% of people uh, have been exposed either to the vaccine or uh, to various variants. And so, you know, what that does is it means the chance of severe disease, which is mainly associated with being elderly and uh, having obesity or diabetes, those risks are now dramatically reduced because of that uh, infection exposure. And, you know, it's sad. We didn't do a great job on therapeutics. You know, only here, two years in, do we have a, a good therapeutic. Uh, vaccines, it took us two years to be in oversupply. Today, there are more vaccines than there is demand for vaccines. Uh, and, you know, that wasn't true. And next time we should try and make it, instead of two years, we should make it more like six months, uh, which certainly, uh, you know, some of the standardized platform approaches, including mRNA, would allow us to do that. So, you know, it, it took us a lot longer this time than, than it should have. 